Hi everybody, this is Dr. Asani Lawati. Today I will briefly talk about somatostatin analog. So what is somatostatin? Somatostatin is a naturally occurring peptide with endocrine, paraendocrine and autoendocrine function. It has a very short half-life, that's why the clinical use is very limited, but the types of somatostatin analog which has been made which is a synthetic one now, they, it has been developed in a way that it has a longer half-life. So that's why we use somatostatin analog to treat a lot of conditions. I'll be talking about that briefly later on. Now, this somatostatin, it acts on the somatostatin receptors, and we have five types of somatostatin receptors. We label them from number one to number five. Now what somatostatin analog does, it binds to those receptors and it can inhibit the growth factor signal and that's why it can be used to treat some types of neuroendocrine tumors. Somatostatin analog can also bind to the receptor and inhibit the release of hormones and that's why somatostatin analog can be used in functional neuroendocrine tumors to improve the symptoms for example in case of carcinoid somatostatin analog can also be used in cases of acromegaly in which surgical approach is not convenient Now there are so many types of somatostatin analogs and we categorize them broadly based on those three types. We have somatostatin, we have octorotide, and we have lenorotide. Each type of them have a different affinity to, to different types of somatostatin receptors. But all of them, they mainly work on somatostatin receptor number two and number five. So this is briefly about somatostatin analog. If you have any questions, please write them below. Thank you.